As the pair sets off on their adventure of a lifetime, love blossoms as they celebrate the union with a wedding full of happiness, laughter, and treasured memories. The climax of Sophie Ritchie and Elliot Grange's love story occurs when they exchange promises in front of their happy and eager guest on their wedding day. Join us as we experience the magic of two souls coming together to celebrate everlasting love. Background the standard for celebrity weddings has been established by Sophia Ritchie, the 24-year-old supermodel and designer who's also Lionel Ritchie's youngest child, tied the knot to music industry entrepreneur and 10K Projects founder Elliot Grange in April 2022. Lionel routinely works with Elliot Grange's father, the chairman and chief executive officer of Universal Music Group, Sir Lucian Grange, and the two families have been mates for over two decades. The pair was also connected through mutual acquaintances. At the Hotel du Cap en Drac in Antibes on Saturday, Sophia Ritchie and Elliot Grange exchange vows in what some have already nicknamed the royal marriage of this year. For the hectic wedding weekend, stars including Cameron Diaz, Benji Madden, Paris Hilton, Nicole Ritchie, and Joe Madden gathered upon the renowned hotel in the south of France. After dating Sophia for a year, Elliot proposed to her in Hawaii. Elliot stunned me with the trip with all of our best friends in April of 2022, Sophia recollects. Golden hour when he proposed was wonderful. She said in the caption of the Instagram image from that day, forever isn't long enough. Planning for the wedding started right away after that, Sophia recalls. It was a full-time job, but we had a terrific time. We worked with Banana Split for almost a year and they were great. Richie and Grange flew to the French Riviera for an opulent wedding weekend one year after announcing their engagement in April 2022, having already completed prenuptial events, including a pool party and rehearsal supper. The wedding of the year, according to many, was the occasion that ripped news and social media from the minute the couple and their many prominent guests arrive. Three Custom Chanel Wedding Dresses The bride traveled to the Chanel designer clothing salons in Paris with her mother-in-law, Lady Caroline Crange, and her closest friend, Allie Miller, for her last dress alterations a few weeks before the wedding and before revealing her new last name on TikTok. Working with Chanel was Sophia's true goal in addition to being an honor. It was an incredible opportunity to have the chance to design this garment, collaborate directly with Madame Olivia Duchesne, the premier of hot couture salons, and see their art in impeccable attention to detail. Chanel designed a trio of gowns for the three main wedding weekend events, the big day, the after party, and the practice dinner, which was held on Friday night at a private estate. It has always been Sophia's ambition to have Chanel create her wedding gown. At my first fitting at the Chanel salons in Paris, I had a clear idea of the wedding dress I wanted to wear. A stunning halter gown with lace embroidery and a lengthy train. There are little touches throughout the dress, such as an embroidered heart to symbolize the love Elliot and I have for one another, and a blue SME stitched over my heart. Sophia collaborated with a Chanel team to design a shimmering veil embellished with resin water droplets that twinkled as she moved because she wanted to do spot something special with it. Sophia worked hard with her stylist Liat Baroche and Duchesne to identify the influences she adored from previous Chanel Couture shows for the other two ensembles. The crew attempted to recreate a dress Stella Tenet worn in the 1997 Chanel Couture Fall Show for the rehearsal dinner ensemble. It is entirely hand-beaded, Sophia claims. It, in my opinion, epitomizes the timeless beauty and grace that Karl Lagerfeld was such a master at. Nicole Ritchie, the bride's sister, created a set of diamond earrings to match the attire for the rehearsal dinner. Wearing her creation throughout the most significant period in my life was so wonderfully precious, recalls Sophia. Other jewelry worn by the bride was all by Fred Layton. Sophia continues, I've always admired his classic paintings. For the party, my ballroom aqua stone earrings from Fred Layton served as my something blue. For the reception, I wore drop diamond earrings by Quiet, Fred Layton's parent company. These seven bridesmaids all wore black, while Elliot donned a Ralph Lauren suit to the prepared dinner and a Tom Ford tuxedo for the wedding day. The only criteria I had for my ladies was that they all wear black, says Sophia. It was crucial to me that all of my bridesmaids were comfortable, she continues. Every female picked out her own outfit, ranging from YSL to Rodart. Lionel Richie walking Sophia down the aisle. The bride was taken by her father down the aisle, which was bordered by a transparent glass marquee and decorated with an abundance of white and cream blossoms by Roni Floral Design. As the ceremony got underway at 6 o'clock, each of us had to walk along the alley for seven and a half minutes, according to Sophia. Because it was a very overcast day and suddenly the clouds parted, it seemed like someone from above was watching out for us. 
Sophie had always imagined herself accompanying her father down the aisle. As we moved towards the front, she adds, I was watching each bridesmaid and groomsman walk down the aisle one by one, and I couldn't believe it was happening. The most reassuring person in my life and the one who has kept me grounded has always been my father. My adrenaline was pumping so hard that I felt like I had stage fright before going down the aisle. He added, you're the love of my life and I'm so happy for you after we had been talking for more than seven minutes. I'm extremely grateful to have my parents since it was a very emotional experience. I'm incredibly appreciative. Steven Sanchez sang Sophia's favorite song. Richie picked the ballad Until I Found You by American singer songwriter Steven Sanchez to play during the processional, although she was unaware that Sanchez would perform the song live at the end of the aisle. According to Vogue, the bride described the occasion, which was a wedding present from the groom, as surreal and meaningful. Like I did for you. In addition, Sanchez modified a couple of the lines to Sophia. Traditional Jewish Ceremony Richie disclosed that she'd converted to Judaism a few weeks before the wedding since her then fiance, Granger, is Jewish. Prior to the wedding in France, the couple also was legally married in the United States, exchanging private vows in front of only their parents. Richie said to Vogue that holding a traditional Jewish wedding ceremony was very important to her and Granger. In the hours before the wedding, a secret ketubah signing was seen by the bride and groom's family. Richie and Granger then exchanged vows under a chapa decorated with flowers. The most heartfelt wedding present ever was singing during the first dance, which was given by the bride's father, Lionel. While Richie and Granger enjoyed their first dance as husband and wife, the Grammy winner sang a single, Stuck on You and Hello, both of which are among Richie's favorites. After the wedding, Richie said, I always thought it'd be a dream to do our first dance to Stuck on You. Adding hello was a surprise, and the whole room began singing along. <laughs> Marriage Cake at their celebration, the couple served a multi-tiered all-white wedding cake with floral decorations. The confection was so elaborate that Richie and Granger had to use a saber to cut it, even though they haven't revealed its flavor. Firework Show Richie and Grange entertained their guests with a lavish firework display before to the start of their nightclub-themed after-party. The pair watched fireworks being released from boats while standing on a terrace overlooking the Mediterranean Sea in footage that the bride and their friends subsequently posted. During the performance, Richie and Grange also shared a few kisses. The after-party for Richie and Grange's wedding, which had a nightclub theme and included dancing in a balloon-covered ceiling, was stylish and elegant. I did. The newlyweds and their guests engaged in a hora dance, as is usual at a Jewish wedding. But a live performance by Good Charlotte was the party's high point, which many social media users subsequently enviously shared. The band, which features Richie's brother-in-law Joel and his identical twin brother Benji, performed their well-known song, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, while the bride performed a barefoot dance on stage. They are real rock stars, Richie told Vogue. It was wonderful between my dad and Good Charlotte. The feeling of family was palpable, which is what we wanted for the wedding, and that is most essential. The newlyweds, together with their bridesmaids and groomsmen, ended up back at the villa where it all began earlier that day after their loved ones danced until 3 in the morning. Sophia explains, We recapped the evening and got huge bowls of pasta along with every French dish you could think of. Until the next morning, we simply sat around recapping. It was fantastic. For Sophia, it was the pinnacle of how she'd handled the celebration in general. Look around and really take in the affection that is around us, because it is so unusual usual and so special to have all the people you love in one place was one piece of advice that I got and carried throughout the whole wedding weekend. Sophia, Richie, and Elliot Granger set off on a happy journey together in a celebration of love and togetherness, vowing their eternal devotion and exchanging rings. Their wedding, celebrated in the warm and magical company of family and friends, signaled the beginning of a lifetime of joy, excitement, and unending happiness.